the morning, the Sudden Impact Edition. Woo, baby! WABC AM and FM, New York. More music on <laughs> the 7 WABC. A-53, Michael Scott Shannon, little baby DJ, coming home to New York City. And it's so neat. One thing about working here, for one thing, they have their own moving company at this place, ABC Cap Cities. But you have to move, like, on a weekend when they're not having a, a golf tournament or a tennis tournament because they use those ABC Wide World of Sports trucks to move your stuff. But the other thing is that you're, you're right next door to one of radio's great broadcasters, and he's with us today in the studio. We invited him, Rush Limbaugh, this morning. Hey, 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 thrill. It's about time. You know, I smoked a little dope to get ready for this in here, and I'm <laughs> ready to go, man. To tie, to ready tie to one, go. To tie one brain behind your back? No, half my brain tied behind my back just to make it fair. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. As I use my talent on loan from God. Oh, man. I heard you got a little loan from uh, ABC Cap Cities when you renegotiated your new contract. <laughs> no, I loaned them some money, and I brought you a gift. Los Angeles Times. Oh, great. Have a good time. Right. <laughs> it's very <laughs> favorite thing. Well, I, I wowed them there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have a big article on how you flopped in the uh, New York Times <laughs> six minutes before 9 o'clock. You started out with just a, like a small group of stations on your started show. Started out with 56, an hour of 337, with a weekly audience of about 6.5 million, an average quarter hour cumulative of a million seven. Yeah. Most listened to radio talk show in America. And That's that means right. the universe. Right. No, that's the salesman. You know what's funny about your talk show is that uh, a lot of the talk shows don't do a lot of business in the younger demos, the younger people, but your talk show has a lot of uh, younger people who admire we just, you. We just surpassed, I think, over half of our audience is 2554. Exactly what you're shooting for here, so look out. Uh-oh. Oh. He's on my tail. <laughs> All right, no, now, no. We, wanted, we no, want you to join right. us this morning because I know you're, you're a lover you, you, of music. You got started Absolutely. back as a disc jockey, right. correct? I did. I got to talk in between his words. <laughs> Your idol was a guy named Larry Lujak, correct? He was. Abs, how'd you know that? I read an article. I had an article. It was, in, that's true. Larry Lujak was my idol. Give me, a, give me a childhood recollection of yours when you used to lay in bed, turn Larry. Give me a little, paint a little picture for me, man. Lujak used to do the clunk letter of the day. Lujak would take letters from audience members. One of the most funny things I can remember Lujak doing, a couple of ladies wrote him and said that he stunk, that he was horrible. They were never going to listen to him again. He was rude. He was crude. He was obscene. He rattled the page. Ladies, the perfume on this letter reeks. Then they went to the Larry Lujak jingle and out. And he was famous for humor, putting people down early on without having them be on the phone. Yeah. Before it was stylish, correct? Before it was stylish. Okay. Shadow of the Morning, special guest DJ this morning is our special sign-on spectacular continues from Mojo AM 77, home of the New York Yankees, Rush Limbaugh. Yeah. Hey. One of the more conservative young radio broadcasters in the uh, United States today. Now, a song like this, could that have got on the radio when you were a kid? Uh, probably. Well, it was it was a borderline. It, it, it probably couldn't at first, but it would have toward the end of my broadcast career, where, where DJ career, which was 1979. I think it should have, would have made it, no doubt. Now you are like it's it's like we were talking about earlier. You have uh, become an ins uh, an institution. I'm a legend. I'm a legend. Yeah, well, and also you're kind of an inspiration to a lot of younger people getting the radio because you have a uh, an excellent command of the vocabulary, and uh, and you and you use English pretty well. Let's face it. Thank you. Thanks very much. Bobos like me who drop out of school and decided it's going to be a rock and roll radio guy need to take a lesson from you and spend a little more time in school. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> You're embarrassing me. This is awfully kind of you. Thanks very much. But I, I'm not an advocate of school, but I am an advocate of education. So I, well, I quit college after one year because it. it just wasn't cut out for me. I, I, uh, I did the same thing to high school. I said, screw this. <laughs> <laughs> Ballroom dance is a P.E. course taught by a former uh, uh, lesbian drill sergeant in the wax. You know, I was, two, three, four, two, three. <laughs> that cry was a P.E. course, and it was for me because I was running away. Did you go to school with Michael Dukakis, or what do you, what do you have against him? You just uh, no, he's just liberal. He's just liberal. He's a fraud. You beat the holy hell out of him. I'm a loser. <laughs> we got your theme song queued up and ready to go. <laughs> Rush is on the radio. We're doing a theme song. Sing along next. You want to sing along with this morning there, Mojo? Good morning, Mr. Shannon. Can and you Mr. sing along with this uh, theme song? With Rush's theme song? Yeah. Thank God, no home. Yeah, I know it. Well, I listen to him every day. You can do it with it. You, you get this paid to do that. This is Mojo Nolan. Isn't yes, sir. Mojo. Hi, Mojo. How, How are you, Rush? Good. Fine. Good. The Mojo Limbaugh today. I know that. Go. <laughs> Go. Oh, you want me to sing it by myself? No, it's do the traffic. Oh, sing. I'm sorry. And now, ladies and gentlemen, and eunuchs around the world, it's time to join our voices and sing along with the theme song. 
Rush Limbaugh. Everybody ready? Let's go. Ready. All right. Folks, it's broadcasting history, history, history. Shannon in the morning. Rocking good news. Mojo Radio. 9.35 in the morning. Good morning to William O'Shaughnessy. Yeah, have you read into William O'Shaughnessy yet? I have not. Oh, my God, what character. He says, uh, I'm going to send a letter to Tom Murphy, the chairman of the board for Cap City's ABC, to get you in good. <laughs> recommend, don't do that, Bill. Don't. No, don't do it. Leave me alone. <laughs> Sorry you, you and Trish missed uh, Nancy and I, our wedding at Lyford K a few weeks ago. Good luck to you. And Charles Kaufman, a nice telegram. The guy that runs SPK Records, doing a great job. They got Wilson Phillips, the group we just played, Vanilla Ice, and the Ninja Turtle soundtrack. Now, there's a way to make money. Mm. Secret of the Ooze. Our special guest this morning, the real Secret of the Ooze, Rush Limbaugh. From the special, what's the, mm -hmm. what's the network again, EIO? Just, just a second. I tell him I can't make it for lunch today. No, not tomorrow either. Who are you talking to? Sinatra. I can't get Sinatra off my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, I haven't heard Excellence in Broadcasting Network, EIB. I've not heard this show in the last couple of days. Have you been doing much on the uh, Nancy Sinatra, Kitty, uh, Kitty Kelly book? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, we have. I just, yes, we for, have. For some reason, we, I assumed that. Yeah, it, but you know, not a whole lot. I must be honest with you. I think that uh, my audience, as you referred to earlier, is an audience of great substance, an audience of bearing and intelligence. I didn't say that. And um, <laughs> so they were younger uh, than you most you were top young show. and... <laughs> right, it's not, hey, that's true. Well, the, the the point is that I haven't been getting many calls about it. My audience is not interested in gossip, and that's what this book is. This is not even good biography. She doesn't corroborate sources. I mean, who would you rather believe? Would you rather believe Ronald Reagan or a former slut? A former slut. You would? Yeah. Well, see, that's no why doubt. the book is selling. Did he meant to hesitate? And, <laughs> <laughs> I love Do you former... the way I set you up? <laughs> I love former sluts. <laughs> I think that, you know, the thing about this, I love to put a different spin on this stuff, as uh, many people know. And the thing that, that, that confuses me about this is that the feminazis are all ang <laughs> feminazis. There are about 13 of them. They're the leaders of the feminist movement. It's not all women. It's just 13 or 14 of the women. Good-looking women, too. <laughs> oh, I'd make a freight train take a dirt road if you'd ever see one. The, um, that's why they're feminazis. I got, I, they hang around with one another. But nevertheless, I got you. here's a woman. Here's Nancy Reagan, who ran her husband's life, ran his whole life, including his job. That's exactly what they want to do. She asserted herself. She stood in there. She ran things as she wanted to do. And now here comes the book, 
criticizing her. I think it points up great hypocrisy and inconsistency among the feminazis. But do you think, now let's get down, do you think she was really humping Frank Sinatra? No, no, I do not. All right. I don't think you can, absolutely, you can't do that kind of thing in the White House and, 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 and get away with it. Well, John Kennedy did it. Uh, <clears throat> but it wasn't known until after he left in this, the th point is that. Uh, it wasn't released, they, they didn't publicize it. Back then right. the press didn't talk about well, what was see, going on. Well, see, that's another thing. That's another thing. You can hump in silence. <laughs> <laughs> it could be argued. That uh, that John Kennedy turned the White House into a whorehouse with as many women as are running in and out. It would be an easy argument. Yes, it would be an easy argument. And the point is that nobody is is excoriating the Kennedy clan over that or anything. Here comes especially me. And, this, and the, <laughs> and the uh, I don't excoriate with anybody. How about by the way? How about Senator Kennedy? You know, you know, I'm jumping here, but yesterday the Senate had hearings on what a Judiciary Committee, of which he's a prominent member. That's where he sits in judgment of people's qualifications to live. And he often finds them unsuitable to live, Robert Bork and the like. Here's Senator Kennedy with the Senate Judiciary Committee doing hearings on what? Rape. The one thing in his 30-year career he knows anything about, and he skips the hearing. He's looking for that urn. <laughs> that secret urn. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's 9.39. Welcome to Radio Free America. Mojo Radio. Mojo Radio promotion about one of the interns here, Anthony. Get over here, and let me see that head, Anthony. What the hell did you do, man? I got a cut. It says Mojo Radio. It's etched in there, Scott. It's actually etched in the back there, sculpted out of his hair. <laughs> He is an African American. We should explain that so the audience can get. A, I mean, that's what it looks like. And, and it's it's the way uh, the way uh, Arsenio used to have a lot of hair on top. Now he's got it a little bit lower. But it's you, it, Bart Simpson, a la Afro American fashion, is what this is. And in the back is Mojo Radio, just etched out of there. You go. Really that's etched out. A company man. A company man. The Let's see, the, neck, the third office on the right, Mitch. Go on there and talk to Mitch. The <laughs> Ray's coming to you, my friend. Let's nice hear to meet you, Anthony. Nice to meet you. Maiden Voyage on Mojo Radio. Rush Limbaugh from AM77 WABC. You can, I, can I tell them the time I'm on? Noon to three. We haven't said so. So you, you're safe and I'm safe. Thank goodness. We won't harm one another. You've been talking about this, uh, this mini-series you've been trying to promote. Yes, it's not yes, a real well, TV show. Uh, I'm trying to produce it. Actually, what I want to do is make a prolonged radio. You remember Chicken Man? Right. Little radio series Chicken Man. I want to do that with Gulf War One, W O N, the miniseries, and I've got about. Uh, if I went through the whole cast, it'd take me eight minutes. Could you give you some highlights? No, we'll go through the whole I, thing. I, I, I'm gonna do the whole thing. I don't have eight minutes. Like I'm playing Schwarzkopf, <laughs> popularizing the new fashion trend, bulky chic. I know you'd weasel yourself <laughs> in there we somewhere. We have Job of the Hut as Molly Yard. <laughs> uh, the San Francisco chapter of Dykes on Bikes will be the All-American 1st Cavalry Amazon Battalion, the first female combat battalion in the history of U.S. military. Who, ha who handles your complaint calls of that network? <laughs> we don't get any. We don't get for the, the stations. Get Not any. even back when you're putting that baby in the blender? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't do that. Oh, come on, That man. was the caller abortion. That was I, I, There was no blender. There was a Let's vacuum. Go, go on with the war, man. The uh, Mitch Snyder will play the Desert Sandstorm. Uh, and and uh, Madonna will be the uh, first female prisoner of war who will try to get herself out of prison by singing Justify My Love before her Iraqi captors beat her senseless. There you go. Then we'll have Senator Kennedy as, as the man known in the Allied bomb sites as the luckiest man in Iraq because he knows what it's like to cross a bridge bombed. There you go. Let's hear it for him. Yeah. You hear the other uh, six minutes of that pronouncement. There's, there's, there's some astoundingly good stuff. Like, we have Pee Wee Herman in it. Yeah, we got you. The rest of that miniseries this afternoon on 77 AM. He Rush wants Limbaugh. me to be quiet. Right? The electrifying Mojo Funk radio station, 95.5 FM. Shannon in the morning, our first day back on the air. Special thanks to Rush Limbaugh for stopping by this morning. Special thanks to you for having me. It's been, a, it's been one of the big highlights of my career. Seriously, I mean it. Thank you. Thank you so much.